My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create sad cat memes. These memes are a little outdated, um, but I've made quite a few of them in the past, and they're dying art. Um, so I'd like to continue the knowledge of how to make these. Um, so first you want to select this image. This is the original sad cat image, and it's the face that all of these other pictures are made from. So we're going to right click hit save as and save it to our desktop. Next we're going to go to Photopea. It is a free online photo editor. Um, it's basically like Photoshop, um, but it's free and you can use it in your browser. So we're going to click open from computer. And we're going to open our reference image. Next we're going to find a cat in a precarious situation and usually cats that are stuck, or if you just have a picture of your own cat, you can use that. Um, this one I thought looked pretty funny. Um, so yeah, all we're going to do is right click, save as, save to desktop, and come back to photo P. Now up here, we're going to hit file, open, and then just look for your picture. There it is. And then next what we do, is we go back to this image right here. We can switch between the tabs just by clicking on them. Um, next we need to select our face. So over here, this is our tool pane. We're going to select the lasso select tool right there. And we have a little cursor that comes up and you just want to drag while you're clicking and make a big circle around the face. Now we need to copy this, so you can either go up to here to edit and copy, or hit control C, and then switch back to your other image. Again, you can do edit, paste, or control V, either one works. And now we just have to get it in the right spot. Um, so let's see, up here's your move tool, click that and make sure you have transform controls on. If they're not there, you won't be able to move it around. So transform controls are on, you can move it, you can rotate it, all kinds of stuff. So what we need to do is line up the eyes. What I typically do is I come over here to the opacity, make sure you have the correct layer selected, and then click the drop down, and I slide it down about like that. Um, and then you just line up the eyes. Now this cat's looking kind of down, so I might make it like it's looking up. But as long as it's in the general area, in the general size, it should look fine. And then we increase our opacity once again. Here we have the dodge tool, dodge or burn. Dodge makes the color lighter burn makes it darker. So I'm going to click the dodge tool and same thing, right click, increase the size, decrease the hardness, and just kind of lighten it up. So next what we're going to do is we're going to erase the hard edges. So we come to the eraser tool, click it, and same thing, right click, increase the size, decrease the hardness, and we just want to make sure you have your right layer selected. You just want to kind of remove the rough edges. There we go, that looks pretty sad. The face looks a little off, so I might stretch it and move it a bit more. There we go. It is one sad looking cat. So this cat is in a green jar and our image doesn't have any glass in front of it. So what I'm going to do, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to take an eyedropper tool and kind of get this sort of green glass on fur color. I'm going to, let's see if I can do a new layer. The camera's hiding it. It's right there. New layer. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the brush tool right here, right click, brush, increase the size. I'm going to cover the whole area that my cat's face is in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and hit clipping mask. This will make that layer only apply to pixels that are in the layer below it. Um, and once that's done, I'm going to change the opacity and bring it almost down. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. This layer. Change that opacity. Almost down to zero. So with that up, it looks like the cat is behind the glass, not in front of it. That's a pretty good one. Let's do one more so we can review. Let's look for another stuck cat. They're all pretty good. That one might be good. This one looks good too. Let's save this. Go back to Photopea. Open the picture we downloaded. And go back to here. Make sure it's copied. Copy. And paste. And shrink it down. Now we change the opacity over here. Click the drop down button. Reduce the opacity. Again, make sure you have transform controls on. So you can rotate. And we're going to line up the eyes. That looks pretty good to me. Once that's done, we can increase the opacity again. And let's see, let's try to lighten up this cat's face. Let's do the same thing where we go here to the dodge tool. Layer. Kind of lighten this area up. That looks pretty good to me. And then we remove the hard edges. We go to the eraser tool. Right click, adjust your size. That looks about good. And just get rid of those hard edges. That one looks pretty good. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. You find your picture that you want, put it in Photopea, paste your reference cat image, line up the eyes, clean up the edges, lighten or darken and recolor. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it, and I hope you make many sad cat images that we can all see. Thank you.